Hi Sagittarius and welcome to your Tarot Love Messages here. We're going to take a look at the messages that are coming in for you in relation to love and romance. Um, these messages are general as it's a general reading, so please guys just keep that in mind. If you are after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email just below the video here. So these messages once again are intended for Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching as well. Okay, so we'll give the cards a shuffle and see what they're predicting for you here. Okay, we've got the Four of Cups here. The World. Two of Cups and the Eight of Swords. Okay, so what do we have for you here? Um, you may notice there's going to be a shift in someone's energy here. Okay, you may notice someone um, becoming a little bit more cold or distant or simply like they're just, you know, losing interest here. They can become a little bit disconnected, disinterested here. So, you know, just watch out for anyone who pulls away. I feel like this person is really in their head about a lot of things. It could be that there's they have a lot of things going on externally here. Um, it could be that, you know, they're sort of ending cycles and beginning new cycles they could be beginning like new job new career um they could be like starting up their own business i see them being really distracted in their head i don't feel like they're very focused here so if they've pulled away they may not even notice that they're doing it they may not even notice that you know their distance here is affecting you they're not actually maybe like fully um self-aware of what's going on so maybe just you know um let them know how you feel or see if, you know, they want to talk here. Because I feel like it's nothing personal. Although it'll be hard for you not to personalize it. As for some of you, I do see that this is a romantic energy. You know, a crush, a romantic interest. So, just a heads up. I don't feel like this person is losing interest in you per se. I just feel like their attention is really um, not focused and very distracted. So, you know, if you notice them going a little bit cold or going a little bit distant. Maybe say something. Because I don't feel like they're fully aware here, guys. Um... The other thing for some of you, um, it, it is a little bit, uh, I feel like, okay, for some of you, I feel like, I'm not sure if you're aware, but I feel like there's like a third energy, like a third party kind of situation around you. That's not to say that the person you're involved with is cheating on you um, or being disloyal here. That's not what I'm getting at. But I feel like there's somehow someone else feels like they may not be over an ex or the ex may be coming back into this person's life or they're still good friends with the ex. And that may bother you on some level when you do find out, okay? Um, it could be in reverse, though. You could still be really good friends with your ex and your romantic interest might have an issue with that, okay? But somehow I just get this, like, third-party entanglement or third-party situation of someone a little bit, you know, dissatisfied with the fact that, you know, an ex or, like, a really good pal here is hanging around and has a lot of their attention here. It might get you jealous or it might, you know, incite jealousy in your romantic interest here. The world card, I'm seeing that there is enclosure of some sort. For some of you, I feel like um, maybe there is a situation in which you need to bring closure. For those of you who have been ghosted or who've had a relationship that's ended really quickly or abruptly, um, those situations can be difficult in the sense that there's never really closure, okay? And that's that's actually part of the reason why the ghost, Casper, um, actually ends up ghosting. It's because they never actually sl slam the door shut on the connection. In fact, they leave it open a little bit ajar so that if they ever in the future need to revisit the connection or reach out, they can do so without you know, them feeling that they've ended things with you because it's sort of leave things open. So for some of you... I know you're, you still wonder, you know, why that person whom you've been talking to, especially someone whom you've met online or you've connected with online, or is this someone from a, this is someone whom you've been connected to romantically. I feel like this person might have been from a different language, a uh, different culture. He spoke a foreign language, had this, you know, um, exotic accent here, and you're still sort of fixated on why they just sort of pulled away here. Um, and you never really got closure because it ended so quickly. It's important that you draw on your own closure, okay? It's important to understand that sometimes, you know, the reason why things don't work out or people exit our lives is because they're not going where we are going, okay? They can only go so far. Um, and other times it's because this person, you know, they still need a lot of growing and evolving to do. So um, sometimes we have to leave them where they, you know, where they are and we have to move on. So, you know, some of you are going to receive closure because someone is going to reach out and 
they might say something and that might just be the closure that you need in order just to wrap things up for others of you it's time that you know you draw on your own closure and because you're you know in the driver's seat the beauty is you can draw on whatever closure that you feel like is most satisfying to you now with the two of cups i feel like something is coming together here for you guys for some of you um, there is a friendship that i feel like might turn romantic or you might have been friends with this person for so long and then all of a sudden you're going to wake up and just start seeing them in a romantic light, okay? So for a lot of you, I feel like this is a friendship that turns romantic. That all of a sudden you might find out that, you know, your friend here has caught some um, strong romantic feelings for you. And you'll find that you may be falling in love with them as well. So something I feel like really... Um, it, it develops stronger and for a lot of you it is a friendship turning romantic for others of you I feel like if you have been sort of casually dating or if you guys just you know have been um, taking it slow and just you know um, just sort of going with the flow you'll find that things are becoming a little bit more serious you might turn around and want to make it exclusive with this person you might want to you know start putting a um, title or a label to it because I feel like something sort of comes together really nicely though because notice how you know there's this equilibrium here and they see eye to eye and they're both pledging those cups to one another so I feel like this person feels how you feel okay so they're on the same page so if you for those of you that are connected uh, to someone romantically um, if you haven't like asked them directly here you know how they're feeling or you know what they want to do or what with regards to this connection chances are it's very likely that your person feels how you feel like so for instance if you want to make it official it's very likely that they're on the same page if you want to start, you know, put a label or a title to it, it's very likely that they'll be okay with you with you doing that as well. Um, so yeah, I feel like your things are coming together very, very naturally, very organically here, and your, and it's because you're vibrating to that same emotional frequency. It's because you're so in sync with one another that everything is just falling into place so effortlessly, might I add. Okay, with the Eight of Swords situation, I do have. If this is not you, then it's an energy that's very closely connected with you like a romantic interest or perhaps even an ex here I have someone being very stuck okay and someone feels like they're very hopeless like they haven't they can't see the way out they don't know how to move on from a past hurt or a past situation or even an ex um, they feel like and they keep the problem is it's them that mentality that keeps them stuck it's their way of thinking so if it's you and if you feel like okay i've got no way out it's your thinking that is keeping you there so change your thinking and everything else will change externally here and if it's a connecting energy then they need to be aware that they do have a way out in fact they have several pathways and avenues but if they keep thinking they're stuck so as long as they keep thinking they're stuck they'll be stuck they'll be stagnated so you know someone he needs to remove these self-limiting beliefs and these negative thinking patterns so that everything in life can start moving and they can start gaining forward momentum all right guys and these are your uh, messages i just want to thank you all for watching and listening please show your support by subscribing to this channel liking sharing or commenting i will be sharing with you more tarot love messages guys so stay tuned thanks again bye